Hey everyone, I'm Darren Knight, aka Southern Mama. And I'm Red Squirrel. Hey, we got another episode for you here today. Hey, springtime is here. Springtime is here. Oh, I man. love it. I, I do too. It. You know, they, uh, some of our, uh, I watch the Weather Channel. I got it on for background noise all the time. I'm, I'm basically right. fans of all of them now. And so uh, they were showing pictures though of the blizzard up there in South Dakota the other day. And I'm like, there's no way. Yeah. Two phone calls will yeah. be made, my realtor and U-Haul. <laughs> so if you live up there, we're sorry, but down here, the birds are laying eggs. We got baby yes. chicks hatching out. The grass is growing. The roses are blooming. The trees have all got leaves on. The water's warming up. The boats are going yeah. in. It is yeah. springtime. It is. My favorite time of year. It's kind of it like my favorite time of the ball game. My favorite time of the tailgate. When everybody, when everybody start, start to cook the burgers. Open the beers, right. you know what I mean? We're right. just getting started. Right. You know what right. fun's coming, it's just getting started. Yeah. Halfway through, you're having a great time, but when it starts winding up, you start getting sad because you know it's ending, but yeah. this is the beginning. Yeah. This is that cool season. Oh, guys, we're so glad that you are here today. John, how are you feeling? You look I'm good. I'm feeling good, thank you. <laughs> you thank welcome. you, I got my, I got my, my, uh, my cooter duct taped and, and I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying something new. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> well, you did know, you? Why didn't you? Why didn't you <laughs> fail to? Would you fail to mention that before we even start? Today? I have. We have a whole. <laughs> okay. So, we have a whole. <laughs> we have a. We have list of things right, and tablets right. full of information yeah. to talk to them so, about, well, and right you now, open it's, up with. It's kind of pulling a little bit right now as I as I move around. It's kind of pulling. Why a little bit. is there duct, duct tape, tape on your cat? Duct, duct tape fixes anything, and so. I've got like, you know, little camel toes. What are we talking about? I have right? a little camel toes showing and so I duct taped it over like to make it smooth. And so we're gonna see how that how that works out for me, especially later when I try to take it off. <laughs> anyway, so um so everything's good. I'm feeling good, looking good. <laughs> Yeah. Johnny, your cat's not on this pod, this broadcast. I know, but I'm, I'll be walk, walking around here like later, and I don't want everybody seeing my, you know. That's so many questions. Uh, know, what I brought know. on the um, before you left the house? And you're like, hey, we got to go to Darren's, <laughs> and uh, we got some friends coming over later. We're gonna eat dinner after the podcast. We're gonna I got take some pictures. Food in the oven now. We're gonna take pictures. Stop. Hush, boys. Yeah. We and, gotta take uh, pictures with the, you know, yeah. the, the pregnant puppy. The pregnant puppy, yeah. Tabletop's yeah. yeah. gonna be a dad. But yeah. anyway, back to your cat. Uh, so, what? And pictures and so, you know. You didn't like, want the, there to be I like a muff. Yeah, yeah. Like a camel toe. So I've taped it up. <laughs> I went live earlier. Well, that's what you gotta do when a cat gets out of hand. You that's just say, uh, if you'll, just, if you'll, just, yeah. yeah. You know, you're never yeah. supposed to, you try to cage up a cat. It don't end up well, so there's no there's no wonders you're having problems down there. All right, folks, we're gonna jump right into it as if that that boy, well, well, I tell you, <laughs> Start well, I tell you that that really. Start if you're not the watching the rest of this uh, broadcast now, then something's wrong with you. All right, so look, let's jump. <laughs> what the hell are we doing? Uh, let's jump into it. Johnny Depp, he's, it's going on right now. Oh my god! If you haven't seen enough on the news, I cannot stand Amber Heard. Oh boy! I mean, I just want to just jump across that table and just. She's got that little smirk on the whole time. I know. Just, and dressing like Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Dressing like, like almost like, you know, So yeah. So I've, I've been in the loop, yeah. but I haven't been in the loop yeah. on the case, all right? So I've watched, last night I sat down and watched about an hour of, uh, TikTok has been really, no, I don't say it's TikTok, but the reels on Facebook. Yes. Um, some of them will have long periods. Anyway, they co collaborate a lot of the, 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 the trial. And, yeah. So here's my deal, though. Uh, I, I did, you know, I was all Team Johnny, and I still kind of am, but I, 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 well, wait a minute. I'm still Team Johnny. I'm still Team Johnny. Okay. But there was some stuff that they, they, they showed the other night, some, some audio recordings a couple of days ago. Uh, uh, some things, you know, about the cutting situation. Cut me. I want you to cut me. Right. I want you to cut me. And then there was, there was a dispute on, you know, he said that the bottle broke his, broke his finger yeah. almost off. Yeah. Now, I've had some wild nights. I don't recall ever someone getting hit in the head with a bottle and it taking their entire head off. I don't really right. remember anyone getting their hand hit with a bottle mm -hmm. and, uh, I, you know, the bottle smashes, mm -hmm. but I've never, I've never, I don't know, I wasn't there. Um, but I will say this, you know, when you're in a toxic relationship like that, I've had some friends that have been in some situations like this and it makes you say things crazy. It makes yes. you do things crazy. And yes. so from what I'm seeing so far, it seems to me that uh, Will Smith and Johnny Depp would, would <laughs> could be good friends. Yeah. I think they're both being um, have, have toxic females yeah, it's in their, their lives. It's a level yeah. of manipulation that yeah. it's really cool that it's come to light because you know for decades 
we've all, you know, that all the, you know, the, the, the females usually innocent and uh, they should get custody mm-hmm. of the children and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And when, mm-hmm. you know, there, there are combative relationships out there where it's ne- not necessarily always the men. I'm not taking away from your uh, experience. If you, uh, you know, had a toxic relationship with a male, I'm sure that, but, but it, it can happen both ways. Yes. So, uh, it is interesting to yes. see what's unfolding oh, with that. So it, it just, Depp. I know, so bless his heart. He is, what? So I just want to you still like, do you like Johnny? Yeah? I just want to give him a little hug. Well. I'm sure he would take it right now. Yeah. It would probably be better than the uh, the old cutting option. I know. Bless I know. his heart. A lot going on. We wish him the best of luck. We hope it works out. And we got some great stories for yes. you. Before we get to those real quick, we got shows coming up. Now, we need to address a couple of quick issues. Um, the Lincoln, Nebraska show. We're getting some emails on that. People wanted to come. Um, there was a little bit of a situation in booking with that. And and, and we'll, 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 that, that, that show's going to be delayed later on in yes. the year. Yes. And then if that wasn't bad enough, the next show that was supposed to be after that was May the 12th at the TD Arena in Charleston, South Carolina. Right. I don't want to get into too many details. We're supposed to be hearing something back at the end of this month, or excuse me, at the end of this week. But if you, we, people have noticed that that show has been taken off. But what's happening there is that this is a very large venue, and they're now requesting an additional thousands of dollars to cover parts of the arena security-wise that we, we're we, never, we're, we don't need. Yeah. We don't, so, yeah. It's uh, it's it's like any other business. Mm-hmm. There's uh, things to address Some anyway. Technicalities. Technicalities. Yeah. Um, but we will address that later. But as of right now, the May the twenty first show, and the rest of the year's shows, are still on schedule yeah. and going to happen. So yes. uh, as of right now, let's go ahead and do it. May the twenty first will be in Pensacola yes. Beach, Florida. Now that show we got briefed on the numbers of the day. It's selling up pretty yes. quick. I think we've, this is a huge theater and we've yeah. sold uh, three quarters of it out. So it's going to be a really good show. So as of yeah. right now, it's going to be a great show. Yes. Uh, but uh, yeah, we got some seats left. So come see us and May the 21st. What yes. better time? Yes. Y'all, we are just a few minutes from Gulf Shores, Florida, Alabama. We'll be a few minutes from Pensac- uh, excuse me, Panama City Beach. Yeah. So we're right there in the middle and right. it's May the 21st. Right. I mean, what better time to go to the beach? I know. Come see us. A lot of festivities taking place in Pensacola Beach, Florida, May the 21st. That show at the Sanger Theater. It's going to be a good time. All right. Yeah. Let's jump in. To it, where we at? Back you... streets, back. All right. Da, 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 da. All right. Are they back? Are they coming? They are back. I've been hearing oh about this. Oh my goodness! And, That's uh, a celebration and shot right it, there. It is. It Cheers. Is. Cheers. Mm. Mm. We're drinking like a pink lemonade thing today. It's pretty good. We are smart off pink lemonade. Well, they're not paying us. Uh, they're not paying us, but it's good. It is good. All right. So, um. You know the song, ain't nothing but a I'm changing it to ain't nothing but a backache. Yeah, the Backstreet Boys are changing some of their dance moves for the DNA World Tour. A lot older than they were 25 years ago. Well, they can't make those moves like they used to, Jonna. (laughs) Just like now, you're duct taping your cat, and I'm having to uh, put a black magic marker on my goatee to hide the grayness. Oh, Lord. The signature moves from when they were young are no more. Well. Yeah, from 25 years ago. Uh, They hurt more. Richardson, who is now 50, (laughs) explained that dropping to your knees with no knee pads and then popping right back up again, it ain't going to happen. Not gonna happen. Oh my goodness. Uh, no splits, no laying down on your back and jumping up. So they listed out the things that they're not going to do. Uh, yeah, can't. We're not gonna pull a hamstring. Uh, if yeah. you're coming to the show to watch me pop my boy Poontang on the ground, then, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now, is the genre of music changing? Have they come up with any new stuff? Are they just gonna do no, the same thing from I, 1998 I, or whatever? I, I don't know, world? but they're, they, uh, they're adding some new moves. Cool. They're excited about the tour and seeing the smiling faces and the people singing their songs, but uh, not not going to be doing some of those uh, young people moves that they did, you know, back in back in the day. But I, you know, I'm I'm really excited. I'm I'm excited for this new generation to get to know the Backstreet Boys. Um, you know, I can remember several years ago I went to a Rick Springfield concert. Rick Springfield's now 72. And uh, and you should have seen all the old women. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, all the old I mean, and 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 barreling to the front, Rick Springfield. You know, I mean, like you know, and those guys yeah. didn't they have the same manager as the the Instinct and Backstreet Boys? Didn't they yeah, all kind of the was, same? Yeah, he was. Yeah, that was a little risky. Yeah. Um, but you know, it might, you know, all things work out. I mean, so these guys instead of standing in the, in the light and and changing their stuff and and they're bringing like another. 
they're bringing the old school back yes. full, full steam. Yes. So you're going to have, yes. you know, a lot of the younger people that are going to yeah. probably dig this music. And, you know, a lot yeah. of the younger people, um, I noticed like, they li like they like listening to the older stuff now. Yeah. I mean, they really do. I mean, a lot, you know, I think that's great. I think they're I think they'll do great with that. Wish them I much agree. success. I hope they have yeah. fun. And uh, now have they listed anywhere they're going to be? Oh, no. No, they have been in Vegas right now. but and The they're, South. They're, you know, and they're starting, they're, they're started out in Vegas and now they're, you know, starting up their tour. DNA, the DNA, the DNA world tour. It's so called world, the DNA world tour. Yeah. So I guess it's all over the world. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe we should do Southern Mama and then world tour. World tour. Cool. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe we can, maybe we will. Who knows? Maybe we will. All right. Take a little bit of a darker turn, folks. The Satanic Temple sues Pennsylvania school over after-school club denial. All right, this story came out the 24th this month, so just, what is today? What is today, Phil? The 26th. The 26th, this was two days ago. Yeah. Um, the Satanic Temple is suing a Pennsylvania elementary, an elementary school after its school board voted against the introduction of an after-school Satanic club last week. All right. The, sat <laughs> the Satanic Temple filed a lawsuit on constitutional grounds against Northern Elementary School in York, Pennsylvania, according to local ABC outlet KTUL. Uh, Matthew, <laughs> the general counsel for the Satanic Temple, uh, said the lawsuit intends to litigate whether the Northern York County School Board discriminated against the organization by not allowing them to start an after-school club when the other organizations were allowed to. I'm not even gonna read the rest of the story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Mm. Mm. I get it. Mm. You know, we live in a country where everybody's equal. We live in a country where all religions are accepted and all races and it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And that's great. And it should be, because we're America. Mm -hmm. But some things you just got to say no to. Some things, you know what, you're not going to get to do. You're just not going to get to do them. And, and every religion, most religions, they all, they send a positive vibe. You know what I mean? Everything's good. Anything good is, you know, that's good. Christianity, uh, the, the, the Buddha, Buddha, the, 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 Buddha, whatever. Mm -hmm. Most religions mm -hmm. practice and preach a positive outcome. If you do good things, good things will happen. You be a good person, leave the earth in a better this is one organization that it's no secret that they worship a dark God. They worship a dark Lord. It's demonic situations. And so for to you, though it may sound unfair, I say tough shit. You don't get to have your club at the elementary school. No, our kids are not going to allow to worship demons at the end of school. What the f*** are we talking? Why is this even a thing? This is an actual, this is, this okay. is actually taking over headline now, news now. This is, now, my lawyer... Holy said, if there are other after-school religious clubs. And that's why I said what I did. No one gives a shit. It don't matter. It, if you're worshiping the dark Lord and bad things, you don't get to have your club. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're getting discriminated against. I'm going to say it like, well, I probably should say I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Guess what? You can't do that. You can't do that. It may seem unfair. But the whole day, this ain't a free country. We've been paying taxes for everything we do. Gas. Uh, cigarettes, food. They, 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 there's three countries in this world that's free, and this ain't one of them. Sorry, it ain't. They ain't nothing about this and free, and guess what? We will discriminate against the, uh, the dark, the Lord, or whatever. That is bullshit. That's I don't care. Plan. Guess what? It, 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 you're right. You know, we got we still need to have common sense in law. There should be a, a point where judges like, you know what? I get this, that, and the other, but you know what? No, you ain't going to have it. Sorry. We're not going to have kids lighting black candles and bringing satanic and demonic entities inside of a god dang elementary schoolhouse. What's happened I, here? I, I don't know. I don't know. This story I mean, I, lit a fire under yeah, my ass yeah, when I read about yeah, this. Yeah, when I was like, Darren, well, I got some stories you know, that we can do. He was like, I want to do that one. Yeah, I'll do that one. I'll, I'll take it here. That and, and that was why, you know, I know where you're going with the lawyer thing. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I know this is a, I know this I know. a podcast. I I'm sorry. I just I had know. to. And I get I get the legalities behind it. If um, this club can do it, this club yes, can do it, this club yes. can do it. But there's got to be a point to where as a country we say, you know what? No, sorry. No. You can call it discrimination. You can call it whatever you want to. I don't give a shit. Uh, this ain't going to happen here. Sorry. Right. No. Right. No. Some yeah. things you got to have. You got to pay taxes. 
<laughs> this country is unfair sometimes. Things happen. And no, you cannot have a demonic at club the, at the uh, local Ed and Miller School. Why the fuck are we even having to talk about this? Well, I mean, this, this is about as stupid as saying, hey, let's defund police. Well, let's, let's defund uh, hospitals. I mean, I mean, what, I mean there, there comes a point to where, you know, that, that's why we made everything free and everything's equal. That's why you got grown men that are six foot eight with dicks as long as my arm beating every woman that's worked every day for her life to, on a swim team to be somebody in this world that had to get up at five, six o'clock in the morning and be in a swimming pool by seven, nine o'clock, spent thousands of dollars on uniforms and all this shit just for a grown ass man to beat them because they want to make it fair. Some things ain't fair. You ain't a woman. Get your ass off out of the swimming pool. And no, you cannot worship demons in the back of the, the schoolhouse. Well, I tell you, it's, it's, it's crazy that some of this stuff even makes it on the news. I really, I took off with that day. <laughs> Go to the next story. All I'm right. afraid people's going to stop watching because I just literally had a seizure right. on here. <laughs> I need this. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is here crazy. That's just absolutely okay. nuts. Mm. I need a cigarette. I've never done, I don't do these on podcasts, but I'm doing one over here. All right. My next story. Jury awards $450,000 to a man fired over unwanted office birthday party. Well, holy shit. This is in Louisville, Kentucky. We're going to be in Louisville and Lexington the end of August. Yep, and those Just shows so are selling know. up quick. Yes, we love us some Kentucky fellers and gals. All right, a Kentucky jury has awarded man $450,000 who sued his employer after he asked them not to celebrate his birthday at work. Don't. I don't want a birthday cake. I don't want anything. They did it anyway. Well, Kevin Berlin told his manager at Gravity Diagnostics in Covington in 2019 that a birthday celebration would cause him immense stress. But the company didn't heed his request, and Berlin suffered a panic attack. The next day, Berlin had another panic attack when his supervisor chastised him for stealing his co-worker's joy and being a little girl, according to a lawsuit. Burling was fired after the second panic attack. Burling alleged in his lawsuit the company discriminated against him based on a disability and retaliated against him for demanding a reasonable accommodation to it. The jury returned the verdict after a two-day trial in Kenton County that ended in late March. I mean, this was just... This was like the other way. Yeah, just, yeah. The jury awarded him $300,000 for emotional distress and $150,000 in lost wages. Yeah. So, uh, All right. yeah. So, when I first heard this story, I was like, that's stupid. That's crazy. I just say, no, you're not getting the money. Da 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 da. But I don't know what it's like to have. I, I, feel, like I, had a, I okay. feel like I had a panic attack one time. And I don't, I'm not a doctor. I don't know what I had. But I remember it was, an ex, it was a terrible experience. Yes. And I remember. That if someone would have walked up to me and, and one hand had a pile of shit in it and the other one had a gold brick and they said, which one do you want? I, I could not have made the decision. Right. And it's a terrible, it was a terrible experience. That, that I, I have I, panic attacks. So, and horrible. I take medicine for anxiety and panic attacks. And so I can relate what it says in this. Well, and at, at first I'd say that's too much money. But then I'm thinking, well, how much money would he, did he lose by losing his job? I mean, if he'd have right. been there for five years, he could have made that much money. Well, it says that Burling had told his supervisor that a birthday celebration would bring back bad childhood memories surrounding his parents' divorce. The supervisor forgot to pass along his request, the company said. And so they went ahead and, and had him, you know, a big birthday shindig. The man, go so, get her done. Part of me wants them to like, dude, dry it up. I mean, they're trying to celebrate you. They love you. But yeah. I don't know, man. I'm kind of, I kind of feel like the guy got bullied. I mean, well, he, I, his one request was, please, don't have me a party. Right. <laughs> Just keep it business as usual. Right. And this, these people went out of their way to do that. And then there was hey, a second and, attack. Well, I mean, and if they wanted to go, hey, there's a cake in the... Yeah, there's and a cake the, over there. Know, if you want it, great. It, we're know, not going to say. We're just, you know. just going to have the cake in the in the lounge. If you want to go get a piece, so, that's great. Now, yeah, but when but, we talked about the story before we started doing the broadcast, uh, I didn't know that he had actually gotten let go. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Well, that, yeah, yeah, he was fired. Yeah. I was. I thought. I thought he was still working there, and then he's like, you know what? I'm going to sue him for four hundred fifty thousand dollars. I didn't know that he actually had a second one. And then they fired him. So yeah, no. I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah. Get your money, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Get your money. Hell, and uh, by the way, take that money and enjoy it for a couple of years. Yeah. Pay off some bills and get you a new job. And by the way, if you're looking for a job, apparently Walmart truckers are hiring, starting out at ninety-five to one hundred and ten thousand dollars a year. 
driving a semi truck for Walmart Corporation. Rock, rock. Mm -hmm. Get it Yeehaw. on there. Yeehaw. Come on, take a ride. A ride on. Come on, take a ride. A ride on. A Walmart. 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 We sell for less. Yeah. Who does it better than the best? I don't know. I just made that up. That yeah, was we stupid. could do that part time. Yeah, we could do it. Gee yeah. willikers. Yeah. All right, what you got? What do what I got? got? Well, my next story comes out of Iowa. <laughs> Uh, don't hear a lot from Iowa, but I thought this was a really cool story. Um, Iowa students earn PE credit by doing yard work for people with disabilities and elderly. What's crazy is that this is news now. See, back in the day, this would have been news. You would have, schools used to shut down for seasons at a time if it was uh, harvest time. Yes. Uh, and, and, and it wasn't unusual for when kids would get off school to go and help their neighbors or their elderly or whatever. And some kids still do that. That's wonderful that the communities keep that alive. But this has made it news, and I think this should have a light shined on it. It's really cool. Uh, the biggest and the best lessons, some of them, are learned in life as students aren't always found in the classroom, right? And oftentimes, it's when we get out in the world and get our hands dirty uh, that we learn our best lessons, folks. This was really cool. Whether that means building a house or helping neighbors, blah, 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 blah. This is really cool. So this school in Iowa, this district, uh, allowing now the credit for physical education class to be awarded through helping out neighbors. This could involve grass cutting, uh, trimming hedges, yada, 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 you get it. Um, and they've even, uh, this past summer, a lot of them wanted to continue the program and they worked on barges there on the, uh, on the local river. They helped out local businesses. Mm -hmm. And at first, a lot of the students, it says here, was not really down for it. But once they received the credits for it, but once they started going, it's not like the gym. When you start going to the gym, you're like, oh, gee, Willikers, not another day at the gym. Right, right. But then you get to go and you're like, man, I can't, and then you turn it, I can't wait to get yeah. to the gym. Yeah. You start working out at home and it's really good. And it's like anything else, a body in motion stays in motion. And we really need to be teaching this to our younger students. I think this is a great thing. You know, Elon Musk, some of the, did you know that 80% of the wealthiest people in our country and around the world did not go to college? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Elon Musk made a statement here a while back, and I even shared this on the fan page. What's crazy and what's wrong with our country is that when a 18-year-old cannot get a $10,000 business, or excuse me, a rather a younger person, rather any, any event, rather high school or whatever, cannot get a $10,000 business loan to start a business. But, they can get a $100,000 loan to go to college. Mm -hmm. I think that speaks volumes. Yeah. You know, this is the amount of money yeah, that can be easily right. paid back in the event that it defaults, but most of the time, yeah. you know, and we're incorporating our world. You know, like dairy farmers now, there's no such thing as independent dairy farmers. You gotta get your dairy farmer milk from one massive corporation, you know, and it's and it's doing that with vegetables and stuff like mm -hmm. that. That's, that's a mm -hmm. bad thing. We need to start, you know, let, not everybody's gonna be a football player. Not everybody's gonna play in the NFL. Not everybody's gonna be a cheerleader. Not everybody's gonna do this. Some people are gonna be artists. Some people are gonna be manual laborers. Some people are gonna be construction workers. We've got too many people out here that want to work in the office instead of build the office. I think this is a wonderful program. I think it needs to take over the country nationwide. I think this is a wonderful thing. Now look at I me, more I, skills I didn't go to college. Look at us, love this place. I mean, I could look through the holes in the floor of my trailer and watch my chickens walk through there, but I got my ass to work and I did it. And it was great. And th it don't you don't always, it's not all you don't have to always go to college. Right. You know. Right. Yeah. So it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. I think this good is a story. wonderful program. Good it is story. a good story. And this these kids in Iowa now they're taking and now they want to do it even out of school. So they've they've. I think that. I mean, I would love to see Pell City. I would love to see Mumford. I would love to see high schools across the country implement this, this program. I do too, because we got we got you know, taking care of the ones that raised us is the biggest yes. thing. And, it, yes. and, and you know, and it don't have to be your own parents or your own, you know, and maybe your family is fine, but maybe the lady down the road can't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's great that they'll get out there and do their own. Well, but, it, it said in the article that the community had come closer together. They had come closer together. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and, and so much so that now, Excuse me. The, and within the last two weeks, they yeah, they have taken on. They're barbecuing. They're hanging out with the citizens even after school events. I mean, now that gives me chills. I know that some people are like, oh well, you know, you got to watch out for creepers and all that stuff. Yeah. Let's not yeah. turn this dark. Yeah. Ninety-nine percent of the people in this country are good people, and this is this is this is one of the situations where even after school hours and even on the weekends, uh, the students are coming together and having community. It says their community yeah. and suburban-wide uh, cookouts for people that don't normally get to do anything with you know. And anyone. what I mean, those young people are going to learn so much from listening to those elderly stories yeah you know you can learn some, i've always uh what was it there's a there's a meme out there somewhere 
If you ever get advice from an old man with a pocket knife, either whittling wood or, or, uh, or d doing some fruit with an old pocket knife, whatever he says, <laughs> you better damn well listen. Better damn well listen. Because that's some lot. good advice right there. Well, we all live yeah. in life, you know, we're all living this life together, you know, and we're all making strides to be better people and to do yeah. better things. And if you, you know, it's kind of like, you know, when your kids were younger and they would do things, you knew when they were lying and when they weren't lying. Mm -hmm. Well, not only because, you know, it's a kid and you can see through it, but that little bit of that kid was you. And that was some of the things that you would say. You would, you know when you're lying. You know when the kid. And it's the same way when it comes to, like, listening to the older people. These people, they have to put on their pants one leg at a time like we do. Yeah. You know, they eat food. And everybody's the same person. Yeah. And they've lived these experiences. And so, so to be able to give that to the, to the youth of the community, that's really yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, a lot of these elderly, they don't have anybody. Oh, no. They don't have anybody to hang out with. You know, we've had events here at the house where, you know, I've had holidays come through and I'm like, look, this is going to do a holiday thing here at the house. Mm -hmm. You don't it, you don't have to know me. Just come and eat. Yeah. You'd be surprised who comes out. I want to create an app. It's gonna it's gonna be kind of like Tinder or something like that, you know, but it's not gonna be a dating app, it's just gonna be a, a hangout app for yeah. elderly. You know what I mean? That's yeah. gonna be my idea for an app. Uh is just it's called Find My Friend. That'd be so cool. I'm gonna do that. I think that'd be cool. I, I think, think that'd be, that'd be cool. really big. Yeah. Swipe right. T swipe right, swipe right. <laughs> um but TM. TM. Your, your what lawyer is, is already uh, uh, going ahead and trademark. um, trademarking trademark. that. Oh, trademark. Okay, trademark so it. if you try to do mama, that, uh, we got idea. you. We're yeah. posting it, so yeah. it's a Southern Mama idea. Southern Mama idea. No, I was kidding. It's actually already in the works, so good luck trying to do that. Oh. I'm just kidding. Yeah. yeah. That is neat, though. It is neat, though. Yeah. 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 It is going to be cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, no. So anyway, moving right along. Um, That's it. Was that it? Was that all of our stories? That was We're all good. Our, that was our story. Folks, we really hope to see you May the 21st in Pensacola, and we've got shows from Kentucky. We're looking at Virginia. I know we go back out to, uh, yeah, we go out to Florida. We're going to, uh, we're heading out towards Mississippi. So we got a lot of bunch of shows coming up and we hope that, to see you at those shows. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this podcast. And I hope you've enjoyed Miss Donna. Donna, you look good. Donna, Thank you never you always give a shout out to your clothing company. Where's so is this come from Brass Monkey or wherever you get your clothes? <laughs> yes. Is it is it Lamp Monkey? My um now my uh jeans are vibe. Jeans vibe are vibe. Clothing, yeah. Cool, that's good. Yeah. We've got to yeah. sign off and get the tape off of her vagina before we have dinner with our friends. <laughs> We want to thank you so much for viewing. I'm Darren Knight, a.k.a. Southern Mama. And I'm Red Squirrel with a duct taped <laughs> cage. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>